Come with me. What could possibly be keeping you here? Katie, this is Monique. We work together at the refugee camp in Rwanda. Nice to meet you. She's getting ready to go to Haiti to help out with the relief effort. Katie is a reporter. A lifestyle reporter. I have a TV show for new moms. But I think it's very admirable what you're doing. Tell Christopher, there are many lives yet to be saved. Didn't you say you have a flight to catch? We leave in four hours. I save your seat. Mm. Air kisses. So cliche. Do you have a problem with money? No, why would I? I just met the woman. But I do know her type. Really? Absolutely. Arrogant women doctors who think that the sun rises and sets behind them, perfectly framing their beautiful hair as they run off to save the world. So, whatever. So, what's keeping you from running off to Haiti with Dr. Chanel? I loved working in Rwanda. You know, it was fulfilling. I always felt like I was doing some good. You're not doing good here? I am. I am, but if I left and my patients, they just move on to the next pediatrician on the list. So you're thinking of going? I don't know, Katie. It's a big decision to just get up and go. You know, I gotta, gotta think about it. What's to think about? There's a crisis, you're a doctor, and you're single. You have this beautiful woman doctor just begging you to share her tent. What are you waiting for? Sounds like you want to ship me off to Haiti with the other volunteers. You mean Monique. It is not a date. There's 250 of us. Us? So you're going, right? Well, I meant us as in doctors and nurses. You want to go. I can tell by the way you talk about Rwanda and how fulfilling the experience was. Look, there's lots of ways to make a difference. All I'm saying is you're unattached. You don't know where you want to end up or what you want to do. You have one foot out the door anyway. You're a perfect candidate. Really? I don't think so. Not at all. Well, it looks like that from where I stand. You have no commitments. Why not go to the place where you can really help? Is that what you want? Is that what you want? Or is it too much of a commitment? Katie, you know that I am perfectly capable of making a commitment when I want to. But it works both ways. That plane leaves in four hours, Katie, so I need to know. Do you want to be with me? Is that what this is about? You know what, you're right about Haiti. This is an opportunity to make a real difference. Okay? And this is the time of my life when I can do things like that. You mean pack a bag and run off to a natural disaster or a war zone? Yeah. Yeah, so if I'm gonna say no and stick around Oakdale, then Katie, I gotta know that there is a real good reason. What do you want me to say? I think you know. I mean, you keep talking around the issue. You're, you're trying to convince me to leave town so you don't have to open yourself up to something that you may not be ready for. I'm not talking around anything. I'm perfectly capable of stating what I do and do not want. Then why haven't you? You know what? It's actually worse, because one minute you're telling me that you're not ready for something to happen between us, and then the next, you are kissing me like your life depends on it. You kissed me back. Yeah, I kissed you, Katie. I kissed you because I wanted to kiss you, because it feels good. And I just wish that you would admit you feel the same way. I don't know how. I mean, I like kissing you, obviously, but then when you ask me what I want, I don't know, because I don't know from one minute to the next. I can't stand it. Hello. Katie, I'm in trouble. Can you meet me at the hospital right away? Please, can you help me? Vienna, slow down and breathe. No, I can't. I'm gonna lose him if you don't help me. You mean Henry? Of course, Henry. Are you sick? Where is Henry now? He's in Old Town right now, and I gotta get to the hospital before he gets back here. Can you just meet me there? Please, I can't do this alone. Well, I, I was... I was kind of in the middle of something. Please, Katie, I'm begging you. It's a matter of life and death. All right, I'm on my way. I'm sorry, I can't talk about this right now. I have to go see Vienna. This conversation, this is too important to both of us. Please don't leave. Just do what you want, Chris. You always do anyway. I'm here. 
here, what's going on? Oh. oh my God, what happened? I woke up like this, it's from the fertility drugs. D is it just a rash? Uh, just a rash? I look like a tomato. Does Henry know what happened? I told him that the deer antler is a remedy for the morning sickness, and so he thinks that I had a, an allergic reaction. You did? <sighs> yes, but not for the morning sickness, which is why he couldn't come to the hospital, because he would find out that I'm doing the fertility drugs and that I'm not pregnant. Where is Henry now? I sent him to the store to get some itching cream. Oh my God, I am so exhausted. Ever since the wedding, I've been trying to get pregnant. And now I look like a sex repellent. What am I gonna do? You're gonna stop this, that's what. <sighs> no, I can't. Vienna, you are out of control. You can't keep doing this, and not just for Henry, but for everyone in your life. So what am I gonna do instead? Just give up after all this time? You're gonna get out of this the best way you can. Tell Henry the truth, because if you don't and he finds out some other way, you're going to lose him for good. Hey, Mom. Is this a bad oh, time? Oh, 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 oh. Are you kidding? There is no bad time for you, my darling boy. Oh. How are you? What's up with you? Got a little problem. Not sure what to do. Really? Why? About what? Well, um, one of the doctors I worked with in Rwanda was in town last night. And she's heading to Haiti in a few hours, and she's, well, she's... They've asked you to go with them. Pretty much. But I'd have to leave soon. Like, today. <gasps> well, what do you want to do? Tempted. You know, Franny, Sabrina, they're down there, so it wouldn't be like I'm so far away from home this time, you know? Well, if I may say, you did just come back to Oakdale, and finally you have your practice up and, and running successfully. I mean, do you really feel that this is the right time? It's a lot of work to be done down there, Mom. A lot of good work. I get to work with my sisters. I mean, it could be an experience of a lifetime, so. Well, it will come as no surprise to you that I would like you to stay here. I know that. I'm sure Dad feels the same way. And that doesn't count for something? No, I mean, it, it counts for everything. But, uh, you know, an extra pair of hands means much more in Haiti than it would if I was to stay here. Why? Why? I mean, you're doing good work here. Maybe it doesn't sound as glamorous or as exciting to go down there and be a big hero, but you're touching lives here. You make a difference in our lives as well as your your patience? It's not that simple. This doesn't have anything to do with working with your sisters. This is about your feelings for Katie.